Author Kevin Kwan sold the movie rights to Crazy Rich Asians for one dollar, and it was the best possible decision he could have made. Even before the novel was released, Hollywood was knocking down Kwan's door. A number of studios were trying to get the movie rights, but none of them seemed like a good fit, especially the one producer who wanted to whitewash protagonist Rachel Chu. And as Kwan told The Hollywood Reporter, why does Hollywood think we would want to see this movie with white people? He told Vulture he didn't even want to respond to that producer. What Kwan did end up doing was making a deal with producer Nina Jacobson. He sold the movie rights to her production company, Color Force, for one dollar, on the condition that he would have an executive producer credit and an ongoing role in the creative and development decisions for the movie. Side note, it's not like Quan needed the money. He himself comes from a crazy rich family. His great-grandfather was a founding director of Singapore's oldest bank, the Oversea Chinese Banking Corporation. Anyway, selling Jacobson the rights proved to be the right move as Color Force made the decision to make the movie outside of the Hollywood studio system, so they could avoid any studio meddling and maintain the film's all-Asian cast. Ivanhoe Pictures then came on to co-fund and produce the movie. Its president, John Panati, said at the time, this is why we're doing the company. Unlike the Hollywood second guessing, oh my God, will this work? We don't know, it's all Asian. It was exactly the opposite for us. That's exactly why it will work. Peter Chiarelli was hired to write the script, but when director John M. Chu was brought on, he insisted on having an Asian screenwriter which led Adele Lim to be hired to revise Chiarelli's script. Making the movie outside of the studio system then allowed the producers to find the exact right distributor, even sparking a bidding war. And while Netflix fought hard, reportedly offering seven-figure paydays for each of the stakeholders, Quan and Chu selected Warner Brothers, so the movie could get a wide release in theaters. Crazy Rich Asians would go on to make $239 million worldwide off a $30 million budget. But news of a sequel or spinoff has been quiet since 2022.